Brian Mudd, Lubbock County filing a million dollar lawsuit against a long list of pharmaceutical companies they say contribute to the problem. KMAX Nicolette Perdomo took a close look at those documents and Nicolette, what's the main issue now they're going to focus on here? Lauren and Brian, they mainly want to repair the monetary damage done. The lawsuit says pharmaceutical companies made billions of dollars in profit, leaving community members and our local government suffering from this. We believe that this is a, a good opportunity for, for Lubbock to join in on this. County Judge Curtis Parrish pushing for change when it comes to the opioid abuse problem. It's affected us in our health care and the way we provide health care and the cost of, of health care in our cost in our detention center. The lawsuit shows from 2006 to 2012, more than 77.5 million prescription pain pills were supplied to patients. That's enough for 41 pills per person each year. And Parrish says the consequences can be deadly. It hasn't just cost us financially, it, it, it's cost us lives. Court records from 2016 show EMS responded to 190 suspected overdoses, resulting in 49 deaths. Enough with the cost, the actual cost of, of dealing with this, but also the human cost. Pharmacist Chris Hobart says it's easy to become addicted. It's very dangerous because it's twofold. So first there's psychological dependence that can come from the euphoria that's experienced when you take these. So that's one of the more dangerous ones and that can happen very quickly for a lot of people when they start taking them. And then the second part that's even more dangerous is the chemical or the physical dependence of it. And a big problem is if you take these without a prescription. The real danger with illegally taking these substances is not knowing a dose. So um, taking too many and what happens is the more you take these, sometimes Sometimes the euphoria feeling does not increase, but what does increase is respiratory depression or slower breathing. Parrish says we don't want to see these prescriptions get into the wrong hands. Sometimes you see uh, healthcare physicians um, who are not really doing that due diligence and they're over prescribing and it's just causing this flood of, of, of this product out onto the market. Pharmaceutical companies, uh, Lubbock County claims pharmaceutical companies failed to make sure that opioid painkillers were provided strictly for medical need.